Ah, good morning. Welcome back to my home. It's Elaine, the teacher at Waikato Museum. When I was young, I had a really good imagination and I can remember mum telling me stories about things that used to come to life around our house when I went to bed. So one day I decided I was going to find these things. So what I did is I created eyes and I went around the house when everybody was still in bed and I stuck eyes on all sorts of things so that when they got up, our house looked like all sorts of things were alive. So my activity today isn't so much an art and craft as it is an animation game. You're going to bring things around your house to life by adding sets of eyes. I'll show you what I mean. My doorknob has got a bit of a character there. Look at that. Having a look at my sink and all of a sudden I've got a toothbrush and some soap that are very, very interesting. Moving into my kitchen area, as we can see, my fruit bowl has come to life. Oh, I've got Marmite back there too, look. Oh, that apple doesn't look like you trust my banana very well. The Fijawas are having a lovely time over there, and even, oh, the Ajax is looking a bit cranky at all of them for making a mess in the kitchen. Even my shoes have got a bit of personality now. How about that? Creating eyes is very, very simple. If you Google cartoon eyes and look for images, you'll find there's lots and lots of ideas for different shapes and styles of eyes. And of course, eyes show the personality of the thing that you're trying to animate. So I started with just a piece of cardboard. So I need an old bit of cardboard box a sharpie or a nice dark felt pen and some sellotape for sticking and of course a pair of scissors. You don't have to be perfect at drawing to create eyes. All you need to do is draw some ovals or circles and not even perfect circles. So let's have a go at drawing a pair of eyes. Here we go. Two weird shaped circles. The important bit is the pupil, where you place the pupil. That depends on where your character wants to be looking. And I've drawn a pair of eyes. Let's try a different shape. These ones are going to be tall, skinny eyes. Now the set of eyes. Let's try. Some very round eyes. I'm going to put one eyeball there and one eyeball down there. I've got slightly crazy looking eyes. One more. Remember where you place the eyeballs will depend on where your character is looking. Up, down, or like that. How about that? Of course, the next job is to cut the eyes out. You might need an adult to help you if you're not so great at fine cutting. And then you take your sellotape, create a small sellotape loop like that so that you can stick your eye to whatever you're wanting to put it on to. You could also use some glue stick if you're sticking it to something that um, isn't too precious. Just be aware though of not sticking glue stick onto things that you think your parents might not want you to. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that idea. Don't forget to keep your eyes open for other activities that will be um, continuing to be added to our site and our Facebook page. Take care everybody, stay safe, and I might get to see you again one day at the museum, in person instead of just through video. Ka kite anō.